Hello friends, today in this video we will discuss another topic that is JSON object manager and JSON parser. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any of the steps that we will cover during this video. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you get all the latest updates. So without any further delay, let us start our discussion for the day. So first of all, we will discuss how to use JSON Object Manager. JSON Object Manager is, is used to query a JSON object and return the output in the form of strings. There are two commands that are present under JSON Object Manager. One is the initialize and one is query. So we will discuss each of the sub command one by one in detail. So before using the object manager, we need to use the get method of the rest web services. So drag and drop the get method of the rest web service and enter the URI from which we want to extract the information. So this is the URI which we have used from the GitHub. Select the authentication mode if applicable, else select no authentication mode. And then assign the output to a dictionary variable. So create a dic dictionary variable. So we are creating v dictionary. Click on create and select and then click on save. <coughs> Now use the JSON object manager initialize command. This command is basically used to initialize the query JSON. This command is used to query a JSON object and return the string. So provide the session name. So we are giving the session name as JSON underscore session. And in the provide a properly formatted JSON object string, pass in the dictionary variable. And in the dictionary key, pass in the body as the key. And in the output, create a variable of string data type to store the output. So we are creating a variable called vResponse. Then click on create and select and then click on save. Now we will use the query sub command to query the JSON object with the dot notation. So in the session name, pass in the session name that we have used in the initialize command. In the JSON query string, we need to extract the company name. So first of all, copy the URI and paste it in the new tab. So we want the company name to be extracted. So we will copy the company name and in the JSON object manager query command in the JSON query string, we will copy the company name that we have copied from the JSON file. Create a variable or string data type to store the output. So we are creating a variable v company underscore name. Then click on create and select. And then click on save. Now to see the output, we will use the message box command to check the output of the query command. So select a select the variable that is v company underscore name and then click on yes insert and then click on save now we will run the bot to run the bot click on run button once we run the bot the bot will be deployed on the system so as we can see the output that we have received is the company name abc ventures and we can confirm this output from the json file 
so the company name is, that has been returned in the json with the json file is abc ventures so this is how we can use json object manager Suppose if we want to extract the details of employees such as ID, first name and last name from the JSON file. So as you can see the employees detail are present in the form of array. So how we can extract using JSON object manager from using A2, using A2019 automation anywhere. So first of all we need to calculate the length of the employees. Uh, that are present in the form of array so for that in the json object manager we will pass in the object that is employees and use the length function to get the length of the array that is there under the employees so we will create a new variable that is v length and click on create and select and then click on save so now we need to convert this string variable to a number variable so we will use string to number command so drag and drop the string to number command or action and enter the string variable that is v length then click on yes insert and create a number variable so we are creating a variable called v json length and then click on create and select and then click on save so once we have calculated the length of the json once we have calcula calculated the length of the array so we can use the loop command to loop through all the rows or all the length of the array so we will use the loop command and we'll use loop for n times so in the times we will pass in the number variable that is v json length we will click on yes insert and then click on save so before loop we need to use one command assign command so stretch that we need we, we will not use the assign command since we have already converted the string to number so inside the loop we will need to use again the json object manager query command so drag and drop the query command inside the json inside the loop command and now we need to extract the id so we will use employees in the bracket we need we will use the json length of variable that we have created so select the variable v json length that is we will use the vlength variable and we will use the dot notation and we'll use the id since we need to extract the id of the employee and we'll create a variable of string data type so we are creating a variable vid for extracting the id then click on create and select and then click on save so similarly copy these 
copy the json object manager query command and copy the first name from the json file and then click on save, save. before clicking on save we will create another variable that is v first name to store the first name of the employee and then click on save to, to extract the last name copy the last name from the json file and paste it over here and create a variable to store the last name then click on create and select and then click on save use the message box command to display the output that is vid use the space and select the first name and again give some space and use the last name variable and then click on yes insert and then click on save now we will use the decrement operator under the number command so we will select the vjson length variable and the, in the enter decrement value select one which is already selected by default and store it under vjson length variable again and then click on save now we will use number to string command to convert the number variable to a string variable so vjson length is the number variable that we want to convert to string so select that variable and then click on yes insert and in the assign output select vlength variable and then click on save now we will run the program so to run the program click on run button once we click on run the run button the bot will be deployed on the system or the machine on which the bot is running and as you can see the output that has been displayed is this and the first value in the first value in the json file is 3898 is the id morton is the first name and ife is the last name now close the message box and the second value will be displayed that is the value that is present at the first position of the array id is 3916 first name is arlene last name is chattels so this is how all the values will be displayed. So this is how we can display the output that are present in the JSON file in the form of array using the JSON object manager. Next we will discuss the JSON parser manager command. In the JSON parser manager command it provides the action for parsing the JSON string. So that's it for today. So in today's video, we discussed how to use JSON object manager command and the various sub actions or sub actions that are present under the JSON object manager that is initialize and query. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you get all the latest notifications regarding our video 
and also please share this video among your circle so that everybody can get the benefit out of this video. If you have any queries related to this video then you can raise your queries in the comment section and I will be more than happy to answer all your queries. In the next video we will discuss how to use json parser command that is how to parse json string from dictionary to json and from json to dictionary. We will discuss it in the next video. Till then have a great day.